Right, we're in Manchester on my rest day, uh, and I have here beside me Dr. Malcolm Taylor. Dr. Malcolm Taylor is working at the Children's Hospital here in Manchester uh, on a number of on a number of leukemia things, and the charity have funded uh, several of his projects, including one at the moment you're working on, uh, Malcolm, to do with you're looking into, I believe, a vaccine, you're trying to create a vaccine which possibly, and I think it's crossed to the case as well, could actually even find a way of being able to vaccinate children against it. Right? Yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. What we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to use a new approach to <clears throat> making a vaccine uh, that can either be given to children who already have leukemia and have been treated already, but then become resistant to further treatment. So the idea is that we then use the vaccine as, if you like, a second line treatment. Mm. Um, and the other idea is that we might eventually be able to use a vaccine that would actually prevent leukemia in children that we know are at risk and um, we now have a test which can pick up children at the very earliest stages of developing leukemia and those would be the children that we'd use the vaccine with. That would be used. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Could, just, to, just to put that in some kind of context, I mean, the, the improvement that's been made is about, I believe, is about 97% of the ALL now in, the, in terms Absolutely, of survival yeah, yeah. rate. Yeah, but yeah. The, pro the problem that we've now got is that not so much that is that, you know, obviously we want to make that 5 out of 5, but yeah. the problem, the, almost the greater problem now is the toxicity of the treatments being used. Well, the problem with treatments treatment is, although, it's, although mm. it's very successful uh, at, you know, uh, at long-term survival and cures, there is, are these long-term toxic effects. And really the only solution in the long term is, is uh, prevention. So we'd like to prevent leukaemia occurring in the first place. That Which is where great. Malcolm's project fits and that's in. And that's where we come in. That's what we're looking at. I mean, it's a long-term... Uh, approach, but I think it's the right approach. Absolutely, it's looking into the how, how long, how, how long far into the study are you? Uh, we're really only just at the beginning, Andy. Mm. Um, we're about uh, nine months into the study at the moment, and we've got a new project also funded by Children with Leukemia, uh, which is looking at another facet of the same problem, and we're hoping to be st uh, to be starting that in uh, in the autumn. So, and, and these things will all dovetail together, and uh, hopefully in three to five years' time, who knows? There you go. You see, that's, you see, that's what we're hoping for. That's what we're striving yeah. towards, yeah. and this is where your money's going. So yeah. you're making an absolutely huge difference. Yeah. I wouldn't be here, obviously, as you know, without the improvements that have been made. And yeah. having had a bone marrow transplant and undergone treatment for leukemia myself, I can tell you, you know, if you could have a vaccine, it would stop it from happening in the yeah. first place. Yeah. Yeah. My word, yeah. that would be quite a thing. So, Mark, thank you very much for your, for your time. You're welcome.